Now, before I read this manga, the only two things I knew about Gon is that he had a wordless manga and he was the worst character in Tekken 3. But after getting a little bit better acquainted with this little dinosaur right here, I can say that Gon is one of the best manga I've read in a long time. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Promise. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, I got a comment on one of my recent YouTube shorts saying, why don't you do manga reviews anymore? And it kind of hit me, I haven't done one for a while. So take the fact that I got this comment at the same time that I finished an amazing manga that I want to talk about, and we're doing another manga review. So hopefully you guys enjoy this manga review. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga reviews just like this. So without any further ado, let's get right into the Gon manga review. So as you could probably guess, Gon is a series about this dinosaur named Gon, and he lives in a time period where all other dinosaurs have been wiped out via, you know, the massive meteor shower that killed everything off. However, I guess he was just too tough and stubborn to be killed by a mere apocalyptic event. So we have him with these other animals that you see in a typical, you know, savanna or forest. And basically the entire manga is comprised up of short stories of him interacting and chilling with these other animals going on mini adventures. So it's really not structured like your typical manga series with a linear story. Again, pretty episodic short stories following our main dinosaur here, Gon. Now in a typical manga review video that I usually do, I would talk about first the plot synopsis, which I already have, then I would talk about the story, characters, and artwork. But as you can probably tell, this isn't going to be a typical manga review because Gon is not a typical manga series. There really isn't a story per se, and there aren't any reoccurring characters really, except for Gon himself. So I think it's appropriate for us to start off talking about the artwork, which is probably the main drawing point to the series. And for very good reason, I'm just going to say this right off the bat, Gon is probably a top 10 best illustrated manga that I've ever seen. Now obviously, if you're gonna make a manga series without any text or dialogue whatsoever, you gotta make sure you bring it home with the artwork, and Tanaka definitely did just that. This manga takes place basically entirely just in the wide outdoors, a bunch of different habitats. You have obviously the jungle, you have the desert, Gon even goes swimming underwater, underground caverns. The world just feels so rich. Like you're actually, you know, in there chilling with Gon, whether he's eating, sleeping, or fooling around, doing whatever, it just feels so immersive. Another thing that I want to mention is how Misashi Tanaka is able to draw animals. Now, obviously, every single character in this manga is an animal. And when you come to think about it, you don't really see a lot of manga series that frequently draw animals. I mean, a couple that come to mind are maybe Golden Kamui with the bear, you have Osama Tezuka who has, you know, his own style. And that's really all that immediately come to my brain. But the way that Tanaka is able to draw a plethora of different animals super realistically to boot is just insane. And as you can see from the pictures that I'm putting up on screen, the art style is very distinct. It's super dark in a lot of cases where he's drawing something that is primal or showing some predator or some heightened tension. But he also has, you know, this whimsical feel about a lot of his other artwork where Gon is shown just being absolutely carefree or hanging out with his animal pals. I mean, you this range from super intense art to absolutely whimsical is pretty impressive. Now you may be thinking, okay, G, there's this manga about a dinosaur with some really cool artwork, no words, but this sounds kind of boring. I mean, there's no story at all. Well, the individual stories within this manga are absolutely spectacular. Now in concept, the individual stories in this manga tend to be pretty simple. You know, you have a couple where Gon is walking through a bunch of predators, you know, unfazed with his attitude, just asserting his dominance. You have other stories where he's parenting an animal of a different species, you know, they're pretty cute. And these types of stories are just plain fun. I mean, Gon is a very funny manga for having no dialogue whatsoever, just the facial expressions of the animals and the situations that are put into just because Gon is this scrappy little dinosaur with an attitude. And as I was reading this series, I would just catch myself over and over again, smiling with this big dumb grin on my face, just reading the story about this little dinosaur on his misadventures. Now, in addition to these stories that are just really cute and fun, you also have this handful of stories that are just especially beautiful and awe-inspiring. The first one of these stories that comes to mind is one where Gon is accompanying this elephant who is aging on the brink of death 
to a certain undisclosed location. And the whole story, they basically just go on this journey as the elephant is teaching Gon, you know, things about being an elephant, like covering himself in mud to get rid of mosquitoes. And Gon just being this silly little dinosaur inspires a certain joy in the elephant as he's in his final moments of his life. And I won't say any more than that not to spoil this 20 page manga story, but it felt truly special and honestly made me tear up a little bit at the end. There's also another story that I really liked about Gon, basically when he finds himself in this turtle shell and he goes to meet these other baby turtles and he basically acts kind of like a turtle, eventually going to the beach and helping the baby hatchling turtles, you know, get into the ocean and survive from predators. Now this may sound like a really cute story to follow along with, but this is definitely one of the darkest and saddest in the entire series. As we're following along with Gon and these baby hatchling turtles, we can see just how threatening these predators and nature as a whole is to these infant creatures. As the fundamental rule of nature states, the weak are preyed on and only the strong survive. And we definitely see that in this story as these defenseless creatures are picked off one by one, these turtles that Gon befriends that he wants to help survive. That's just not how nature works. And that's one theme that I think is really well done in this manga is the duality of nature. You have these beautiful and peaceful moments as the, all these animals exist together. And then you have the opposite side, the necessary side of survival that is absolutely brutal. Now, when you take a step back and look at this manga with a bird's eye view, what does it all mean? Obviously, you can have fun watching Gon with his misadventures with all these other animals, but what can we as the audience really take away from this manga? And obviously that answer is going to vary from reader to reader, but there are two big ideas that I came away from reading Gone with that I think make this an amazing series. The first being the overwhelming feeling of kinship that you get while reading this manga. Now, obviously Gone is a creature who is one of a kind in this world. There are no other dinosaurs, there are no other beings on this planet quite like him. But as we see, as we follow Gone along through his adventures in this series, is that he is by far the most popular animal out of all of them. We see other animals playing with him, respecting Gon, or even relying upon Gon for his survival because he's strong, he's determined, and just has so many of these other admirable characteristics that we as humans can apply to our own lives. And there's some other really important messages in this manga, specifically about overcoming adversity, the importance of forging bonds. I just think that there's so much we can take away from the adventures of this little dinosaur in this manga to our own lives and becoming better human beings. And the second big thing that I took from reading this manga is more of an artistic thing, and that is the importance of pushing artistic boundaries and creating something that is truly unique. Now, I'm not 100% sure if Gone is the first ever manga series to have, you know, absolutely no text or dialogue in it, but I believe there's a quote from the mangaka that I really liked, I'll try and find it and put it up on screen, basically about how he wanted Gon to be something completely new and push the boundaries of the manga medium to tell a story like nobody had really ever done before. And I think that by focusing on doing something that no one had ever done and telling your story in a way that you really are passionate about, and obviously in the end product, we see the sheer amount of passion that went into the artwork, some of the stories, into the characters, and into the messages that are conveyed in a very unconventional way. So because of the risk that Tanaka took when making this manga, we are left with an absolutely amazing manga that is extremely unique and provides an experience that you really won't find anywhere else. And I think that is super inspiring and super important. It's for all these reasons that I think Gone is an absolutely amazing manga and one that you do not want to miss. I'm giving it a strong nine out of 10. I read this manga in the Italian box set comprising of these three volumes. I know the series was put out by CMX in seven volumes that are out of print. I would highly recommend getting this Italian box set again. Doesn't matter if you don't speak Italian because there are no words, but no matter how you choose to read this series, Gone is a manga that is 100% worth your time and has my highest recommendation. Absolutely wonderful. So guys, that's going to do it for my Gone manga review. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll check out the manga right after this video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. So yeah, this has been the Prom G. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and as always, hope to catch you in the next one.